Hello friends, this is Salim Tejani with the YouTube channel Food, Fun and Music with Salim Tejani. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the best and easy Nihari recipe. Nihari is one of the traditional dishes from India and Pakistan. It's a very signature uh, dish and uh, this was introduced back in 1800 when Mughals were uh, in power. Uh, I'm going to show you the easy recipe. So you can make the Nihari with any kind of meat, but the traditional Nihari has to be beef shank meat. People make uh, Nihari with chicken, with uh, goat, uh, and that's not a real Nihari. You need to make it with the beef shank. You can also do lamb shank, but still, beef is the critical uh, ingredient uh, in the meat selection. Uh, the meat is what, it, it depends what kind of meat you get, that is very important for the Nihari. So, I'm going to show you exactly what kind of meat you need to buy just to make Nihari, the, the traditional Nihari. So let's go. Let's go to supermarket and buy the meat first and then we uh, take care of the other stuff later. So let's go. Come on over. Let's go. I need the shank meat for Nihari. With a bone, without bone. Without bone, but I want the bone. How many parts? Nali, nali bone separate. How many pounds? I want the. Give me about uh, five pounds. Shank. Yeah. Big pieces. Let me see. The shank. Ah, yeah. This is the meat we need. Shank. Keep it big pieces, okay? Yeah, we're boneless, huh? Boneless, but big pieces. Bone I need, but I want it separate. You dig it? This is the meat you need. This is exactly the shank meat. Eat. And I come to Jerusalem because Jerusalem has the best meat. So I am satisfied with it. I've been buying the meat here for almost last 30 years because they take care of you really good. And they, they cut it really nice for you. They take the fat out and they do a lot of things for you. So it's a, it's a good meat place. If anybody wants meat, try Jerusalem. It's on Hillcroft in Houston. Okay, 
I see. They have a lot of meat. Two they, pieces? They sell. Okay, over here I need uh make three pieces of this. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah, they can. This is the size of meat you need. That's it. And look, they sell so much meat. So look at the meat. I mean, you can ask anything and they sell so much so it's pretty fresh. Always fresh. Let me close the door. Let me go back here. Okay, this is the right meat for the Nihari. Right there. You see the meat? Okay. And then he's gonna give me some bones for Nali. And that's all you need. Okay, look at how the bones needs to be cut. And the Nali can You need the bones like this. Okay, this is the bones you need like that. Okay. So we're done pretty fast. Sunday morning is slow. One thing, just remember, when I tell people to get the shank meat, they get shank meat like this, like, like the steaks. No, that's not nari meat. That's, I mean, people make it, but it's not really going to get the texture. So just remember, when I say shank meat, they just go to the supermarket and they go and grab these packages. Don't do it, okay? Please, just get the nari meat just the way I showed you earlier. Go inside, you need big pieces and long pieces. These are steaks, these are not going to work. Okay, so this is the best meat you're gonna find in Jerusalem. This is Nihari meat. Thank I you. brought some ground beef. Thank you. And Thank you. Then they take, <laughs> they take care of you really good. Thank you. So Jerusalem yes. is the best place to buy the meat. Thank I've been you. buying here for 30 years Thank and you. never disappointed. <laughs> Thank you, brother. You're welcome, sir. Okay, friends, this is the meat we just bought. Now we're gonna wash it thoroughly. And look at the bones. This is the bones you need. You see the bones? And the meat, the one we just bought, is this kind of meat. You see that? And big pieces. Make sure they don't cut it small pieces. Look at the, the meat, big pieces. All right. So we're gonna wash it good. And then I'm gonna show you more ingredients first. Just make sure this is washed really, really good. Now we're going to need some ginger garlic paste. I usually don't like to use the one from the supermarket. Uh, I wanna make my fresh one myself. So just uh, get some garlic cloves and some ginger pieces peeled off and just blend it together it's not that hard but uh, if you want to use the supermarket one you are fine because look at the uh, the texture on this one and then you the restaurant one is kind of watery look at this so this is what i need to use we are going to use this kind and then and then put it in the bottle and put it in the fridge now the green masala i have a secret to tell you we can do a green masala just uh, peppers and cilantro is all you need and then i have a secret how we are going to preserve it because everybody say the green masala goes bad quick we are going to take the ice cube trays blend this masala pour it into ice cube trays and then put it in the freezer every time you want to cook something you can just take one cube two cube three cubes whatever you want to cook you can take that out and use it and it will never go bad because it's in the freezer look at this you just uh, make sure all the cubes look at this this is the way it should look 
and I like to keep it a little uh, thick. So after washing the meat, we did the ginger garlic paste, we did the green masala, and now the key ingredient to the Nihari is the funnel seed powder. That's the main ingredient. If you don't have that, forget about the Nihari. Just make biryani or korma. You need to have a very fine powder of the funnel seed uh, powder. And then over here, we have funnel seed powder. But make sure, I, I don't think this is very fine. We're going to... Uh, maybe blend it a little bit more, uh, make it more powdery. This is the red chili powder. This is the, this is also another key ingredients. This is the dried ginger powder. Dried ginger powder, which we call uh, in uh, Urdu or Hindi, we call soot, soot ka powder. And this is the funnel seed soft ka powder. Hai. And you can use the salt as you uh, like it and also and now the last ingredient is the uh, paprika paprika is good because it will give a rich color to the Nihari now the meat we uh, bought was five pound but I'm not going to make uh, that much Nihari so we're going to use only the half of it so we're going to use the uh, two and a half pound uh, meat so that's two and a half pound meat with the bones and um, all that stuff is uh, enough for about 10 people now on the 10 people the funnel seed powder you need to use six tablespoons the chili powder you need to use two and a half tablespoons you need to use the, the soot powder, which is the dried ginger powder right here. Uh, you need to use two tablespoons. And paprika, you need to use at least three tablespoons. Uh, the paprika is not gonna make it more hot or spicy. It's just gonna give you the rich texture. So, la, we got the ginger garlic paste. And we got the ingredients, we got the meat washed, everything is all ready to go. And then of course, we're gonna need the regular flour, uh, atta, in the last. And then I will uh, show you the process, how it's all done. So we have all the ingredients ready. We have the meat ready, we have the bones ready. We have the all the spices ready and uh, we are going to start cooking, but I will show you that in the next vlog. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to uh, do another vlog how to cook it. So how kaise chalana hai, nayari kis tarah pakani hai, wo main puri cheeze aapko bataunga. Step by step, there is a way to do it. It's not that sab ek saath dal diya aur pak gayi nayari aur gosh ke saath nahi. Step by step because you need the flavor. So let's uh, uh, subscribe to the channel Food, Fun and Music with Salim Tegani and uh, watch for my next vlog and I will show you step by step and on the next vlog I'm not going to go through the ingredients and the meat and all that stuff but we're going to start cooking right away so until then see you subscribe to the channel if you like it give me the thumbs up and click the bell icon so uh, you can get my notification as soon as I, I'm going to post the Nihari recipe how to cook it alright guys Ciao.